Crane 36T came down the line and check out the old school Gunderson well cards from the 80s and 90s. A couple of months ago, a viewer asked me in a comment about the CSX Sealand double stack trains that used to run over the Susquehanna Railroad. I have limited knowledge of those trains, but I'll share what I do know in a separate video. Well, this is that video. But first, a viewer disclaimer. The information that I give here must be taken with a grain of salt. As I said, I'm not real familiar with these particular trains, although I did catch a few back in the day. I used to see these cars every day, the one in the Southern Pacific back when I was living in Texas. For starters, I don't know for certain what the West End Terminus was for these CSX Susquehanna Sealand stack trains, but I'm told that it was Tacoma, Washington on the BN slash BNSF. I do know that the East End Terminus was the Susquehanna's Container Yard in Little Ferry, New Jersey. The stack trains began in 1985 before CSX Transportation technically came into existence and stopped running on CSX around the time of the 1989 30-day shutdown of the Delaware and Hudson. I talked briefly about that shutdown in a past video and maybe I'll resurrect that topic because it's interesting. The D&H handled them on the Susquehanna's behalf between Binghamton and the CSX Interchange at Buffalo and then they often ran through with Suzy Q Power. Conrail assigned the symbols DHT4 for the eastbounds and DHT9 on the westbounds back when this was still Conrail. The D&H handled them on the Susquehanna's behalf between Binghamton and the CSX Interchange at Buffalo when it became CSX and they often ran through with Susquehanna Power. When it was Conrail, Conrail assigned the symbols DHT4 for eastbounds and DHT9 for westbounds to the DNH portion of the move, and I think that the DNH symbols for the trains were the same as the Suzy Qs. Having never actually saw them on the CSX, I don't know for sure what the CSX symbols were for those trains, but I'm told that the B and O C and X symbols were the SLEB for the eastbound and the SLWB for the westbound. I'm also guessing that the B and O slash CSX handled the trains between Chicago and Buffalo via Edno PA. Sometime in the mid-90s, the Suzy Q changed the symbols to numeric such as the NY10, which allegedly became the 550. From Newcastle, Pennsylvania to Buffalo, New York, these trains ran over the Buffalo and Pittsburgh, which I'm told was part of the reason for their demise. The BMP was said to be in no big hurry to get them over the railroad, but I find that hard to believe. Any hoots, that was still CSX trackage, and then they sold it to the Genesee in Wyoming to form the Buffalo and Pittsburgh. Routing then went to Conrail or maybe it was Norfolk Southern, but at some point the sea line traffic started going north on the Susquehanna out of Bingo Town to Syracuse and then west on Conrail with some traffic staying on the Delaware and Hudson to Buffalo to head west on the Norfolk Southern. Also prior to the double stack cars arriving, they also ran a single level eastbound container train via the CNO through Michigan. This symbol on the DNH was a DHT8 I believe. That's the best I can do for you. The one thing that I do know for sure about these trains is that the primary power for them, which was the B40-8s, were bought and paid for by CSX, and when the operation ended, they went back to CSX as at least one ended up down in Florida. For Trains 21, call me AC.